Okay, sorry for staying quiet there. For some reason, my on-screen recorder is being a douchebag. Okay, got it. All right. Okay, now let's continue from where we left off in from part three. Yeah, I, I didn't want to add any extra features because I wanted you guys to actually see what I'm doing every single step. <laughs> anyway, so um, let's continue. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. All right, I think finally we get to continue on with the detailing. Oh my God, it's uh, about time. So um. Yeah, let's get started with the detailing. Um, first, let's change the black outlines, except for this one. You want to keep that because it's really, and this one too. You want to keep that dark. So, let's double click this, or whatever color red you want. It doesn't matter. It's your preference. Click, damn you! What the hell? Click. Thank you. To find custom colors, red or for any color you make this, it doesn't matter. And what you want to do is you want to click this space, click red. Then you want to make it really dark. Not not too dark, but dark enough. Like about about that seems about right. Add to custom colors is going to be right there and then boom, right there. Now the reason you want to do that is because we want to change all the black outlines for red and make it for red. So, let's get out the uh, choose pick color tool and uh, eraser tool like I did before. This right here, you want the top color to be the color you want to change and the bottom color the color you want to change it to. So you want to right click the color you want to change it to and you want to left click the color you want it if it's still there. Or you could right click or left click this and it'll change it. So let's right click, let's do this with this. Show you how you do with that. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to to see if I just do this, it's this is what's gonna happen, and this is what probably happens to most people. So what you want to do is you want to hold the right clicker, and as you see, it changes the color. And that's what you want. You want it to change the color like that. Now, depending on the size of the brush, depends on what it'll change to. If the lines are too small for this, just whip out the pencil tool and go over it yourself. It shouldn't take that long. If the pe see, like for this area right here, I'll whip out the pencil tool, zoom in. Ooh, whoops. All right, we'll go right in there and just go boop. If you want to detail it, good enough, you know. Alright, so let's go back here, let's break out the erasure tool again, and let's continue on coloring over the red. Alright, you're going to have to break out the pencil tool here as well. Alright, let's just color over all of the red. Freak, forgot about that. Alright, going to have to pencil tool this one. Oh yeah, by the way, for all you people who are wondering um, how I do this, or this, what you do is, if you make an error with your line, let's say I make an error, I make it like this, the face, if you hold it, like don't let it go, and press right click, it'll disappear. And vice versa, if you hold the left clicker, I mean the right clicker, and you make a mistake like this, you press the left clicker, and it'll vanish. Just a little uh, helpful tip there for those of you that don't know that little uh, that little trick. Uh, all right, let's break out this tool again. This part actually might take a little longer other parts to do because there's a lot going on in this part <sighs> that needs to be uh, carefully explained so uh, let's move on 
put the red. You want to make sure you get all of the red out of the way first. Make it a dark enough red that it'll work in no matter what place you put it. Like this red should be good. For me, at least. I mean, I'm not trying too hard with this, so. Um, you don't need to do it for the eye, but I guess for good measure you can. I mean, just make it a little, stand out a little bit. You're going to have to detail it with the, the white part, so might as well, I guess. Okay. Let's add some uh, extra facial features on this guy. It's like, um... Give him like a mark here or something. Let's make that like... Actually, let's make it the primary color I'm gonna make it so I don't have to like squeeze in the color that I want it to be. So... Come on. So I swear, man, this on-screen recorder makes everything lag. All right. Make this blue. Make this blue. Just give him a little mark on his face. All right. Um. Actually, now that I think about it, the entire cape is red. Is yeah, I just noticed that. I should probably fix that little feature. Once again, it'll save me a few hundred PMs. So let's change that little feature here. A little quick one, nothing, nothing, nothing real big, special. Since I'm making the whole bunkai thing or hollow thing going on here. My own alterations, of course. I'm not one to plagiarize. So, yeah, these lines down here might be a little difficult but to squeeze the change color tool, but that's cool. That's cool. Alright, that actually looks a lot neater. Now, make sure you fill in those little lines so it can look more legit. Alright, let's see how that looks on the front. Alright, definitely looks a lot different <laughs> now than it did when I first started. Alright, so you want to, you know, let's continue. Alright, so we did the red first. And, uh, now let's, uh, the video's getting late, so let's start focusing on this color now. Now this color is a little dark. It's this color, I believe, so let's double click this one. Find custom colors. This. Let's make it dark. It's actually more orange, so let's put it over there. That's about that. So let's put it like about this. Alright, now it changed. Now let's make the black to this. What the hell? Oh, right. Okay. Eight minutes in. Oh, this video's taking a lot longer than I thought for something that's just real quick, but hey. Shows you step by step a little slowly. Not 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 great. Not a great sprite, I mean. It's okay. I mean. You know, for all you people that think it looks nice, you know. Thanks. I appreciate it. You know, for somebody that knows he could do better, I know there's better artists than me out there, so I know those people know what it's like that when you draw something that's not to your full potential, it's not as satisfying. So I guess that's just what my problem is. It's, just, it's not what I draw to my full potential, so. Like the Fighter Baker 7-2. 